Yep. Center of those two. Yeah. Pretty sick, huh, Jared? Yeah. So we just got our seven second club sticker. That thing's been long fought for, for sure. Yeah. Man, it turned out nice. Ooh. Man, does it look sharp. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. The GTR cage is coming out absolutely beautiful, and we are pushing hard to get ready for sick week. In this episode, we've got to get that carbon fiber dashboard done. We've got to get the steering column going. We've got to get the window net in, and we've got to finish up that back window. Pull it off just quite yet because I'm looking at this cluster. Check it out. Gotta look at this stud. Yep, we're below the stud. That's... Okay. Getting right up in there. It actually, I had started notching this way. It like shifted back that way some because I'm more in the middle now instead of all the way up on this edge like I was. Oh, it's because we're on this edge here. Mm -hmm. But so that this corner this seems to fit real nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah, now I know where this thing's going to go to. Oh, it actually holds itself? That's right now, cool. yeah, it's, it's, it's that tight. Those top tabs are in the top of this. Yeah. Dang, okay. That's kind of how I cut it. Yeah. Was those were going to sit up in there. That's, yeah. Because then I figured we could just make a, you know, off the steering column, maybe a plate up. I was just thinking tube. an L bracket off that tube. Yeah. And they just sat right on it with the yeah. bolts up. Well, they could hold the steering column too. It could all connect. Yeah, the column I'm still... Because that, would... that could be a big middle thing. But we'll see. It's getting close, guys. It's yeah. Freaking awesome. Well, you want to pass Shane the welder stuff that way? Welder? Welder up. What am I going to weld? Can I see the steering wheel again, Shane? Yeah, you look how far your knees are away now. Yeah, this is what we needed. I know it was a lot more work, but... It was worth it. It looks awesome. When we got the parachute handle mounted, we need it. I feel better too having that cluster back where it goes. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I'm staring down the center of the wheel at the joint. Yep. And I have full 
gauge cluster in the steering wheel. And then we'll just have those that one little ring of controls Five. mounted on the column. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have to mount like the factory turn signal thing. I was gonna mount that to the column too. I just gotta get the column to the length and all that stuff and then set that all up. Did we find the keyhole thing yet? No, we gotta dig for that too. But yeah, Shane's almost got it to the point where we can mount the dash. I'll mount the cluster and then we can start making the column. So I just got finished welding the parachute bracket. Yep. And then the tabs for that, make these rear bars still. Tabs for what? Oh, the dash. Yeah. Yeah, because once that stuff's mounted, then I can lay the wiring back in and start solving that. Well, in these back tubes. But it's not that far away. All right, to do that other column, I have to take this column apart because I need this little steer deal right here. I just took this nut off and it plunges, but I've got to pull this snap ring right here. I saw it come up. What's up? All right, well, that's shaft slide up. Nope. Wonderful. And that just fell all the way in. Oh. That's fell up. Ah, that's what's in behind door number two. Well, you almost got through it with the chop almost saw. Almost got through it. That's where my blade caught on the chop saw. But we need this bat bottom section. Bro, you know what this is down here? This is the steering lock. Ah. Look at the cogs. Ah, That's the yeah, steering lock down go. here. Super fancy steering lock. That is crazy. We were all worried it was like power steering sensor or something. Yeah. Bro, that whole thing, this whole big electric thing is literally just... To lock the column. The lock. Well, we could probably cut it on this side of this thing. Wherever it's going to fit into or onto the that's, tube on that's the... That's this side. So this side... No, I mean wherever it'll fit like into or onto the pipe. Yeah, it looks like it's bigger, so either way... It may Maybe if you down. if you lop it there, yeah. you know, flush, then I can put it in the lathe and... Hopefully. So all our cutting and all our stuff is just for that little piece right there, which will weld to the new Motion Raceworks column. And... Uh, Get a lighter steering stuff into the GTR. Mario! <laughs> what do you think, dog? It looked pretty awesome. Yeah, Goofy's been working on this dash all day, trying to get that thing. Yeah, we sucked it way up, so give the driver enclosure more space. Looks awesome. Seem like it cuts okay? Yeah. I mean, you want to just go all the way down to that tube. All right, so we're just peeling the edges up so we can uh, put some river rivets in the border of it. And then we'll leave the plastic on just to test it while we work. This is a much lighter back window. All right, so now you can see my column is made. I. Uh, the Motion Raceworks column kit. It's pretty sweet. So this is the steering shaft. This was, you know, the length of the column. So however long it needed to be. And from my U-joint, um, from the face of the U-joint to where the steering wheel needed to be, it needed to be 19 and a half. So I measured that out. I cut my tube accordingly. Uh, the inner tube, I cut to the length and then slid in my joint and, uh, that's what we came up with. So I'm gonna keep on rocking this and uh, we'll test fit in the car. Make sure it's the right length. If not, we can make adjustments, uh, but super nice kit. You want a nice lightweight column? I highly suggest the Motion Raceworks kit. That is pretty sweet.
It was time lapse. Dang it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Woo! You want to pass me that air hose real quick? That looks B E A beautiful. On camera, it doesn't even look like there's a window in it. It's so clear. That'll ride, huh? Yeah. That'll ride, yeah. And then people think this is noisy, like it's not noisy in the park. Yeah, okay. you're not gonna hear nothing. You guys went to town. Yeah, this all, it's I mean, a two-person job. You know? it's, so when you drill, if you have somebody with an air blower, especially if you're using glue, when you're drilling, if somebody's blowing it, then the metal that's coming out with glue doesn't stick to the window. So then when you wipe it, you scratch the crap out. Yeah, of it. yeah. Blow it away. So one person's drilling, the other one's blowing, and then does the rivet. Awesome. Works out good. Well, while you're doing that, I got the column kind of to length, so. Yeah, we got the wheel here. We need, yep. yep, you just need to make sure it's Sounds good. approved, length approved. Otherwise, I'm gonna need a tube stretcher. Yeah, I dig the distance. Just figuring out the height. Yeah. I'm just gonna go up here, so 23 to center of pipe. And then measure At off point. this pipe to it. Ten and a quarter. All right, guys, we made some killer progress today. We've got that window net done. We've got the steering column mocked up where it needs to be. Jamie and I made a little stand for it. Uh, that's that metal tube right there packed in spots just to hold the steering right where it needs to go. Goofy got this dashboard all fitted up. Super proud of him and how it fits. It's gonna be incredible. The chute handle stuff all done. We lowered the seat too. Oh yeah, we put the seat as low as possible. And it actually gave me probably two inches on my head. You know, you guys are about the same size, so. Yeah. So that helped there too. Really made a it lot is. of good progress. We know where this, the instrument cluster needs to be now, so I can make mounts off all that. We got the paddle shifter stuff to like all fasten to this. The and the turn signals tur and headlights and all that. Yeah, stuff. we got. And then we've got the spot for where the key goes. We've got a mount. That we'll just put somewhere in the dash, probably. Goofy got the back yeah, window cut out. Window and that's all riveted on. But guys, I am stoked. What a great day. A lot of progress done. Today was... Yeah, we just got to the dash and trim the... And the dash, I don't know how much you guys talked about it when you were doing it. So the dash started off about <laughs> yeah. here, which really took away all of our real estate of getting in and yeah. out. So we shifted so it Shane, forward, forward, forward. Yeah, Shane cut. So we're going to cut two and a half inches out here. Wow. And we have the heater and the blower motor behind the dash. Yeah. We're in there. And so. all of our stuff is mounted in the dash. We've just got the one screen to but it just sticks on it. Screen buttons. And then start, after we get the dash mounted and all this stuff done, then we get onto electrical and the fuel system. And then the car's ready for sick week. Which is... Uh, we gotta fix the trailer. Yeah, we still gotta fix the trailer, yes. Well, we've got a thick aluminum sheet here that we can make panels. Yep. Like plates for gussets and stuff. I am stoked, it looks incredible. Mario digs it, so that's all I care about. We're good. <laughs> Your moral support? Yeah, all right. Time lapse earlier. <laughs> yeah. He's practically Canadian with all the resources he's done. Yeah. <laughs> practically. He's an honorary Canadian. <laughs> all right, guys, I came in today and I just went right to work. I uh, got the steering column all in here now. It is really looking sharp. You can see now how we used the stock joint down there, modified it. You can see where the stock joint is. We'll zoom in. Looks good. And then we got the Motion Raceworks column here. And uh, that turned out really nice too. So I did a little brace down here, one up here and one off to the side here. And that thing is straight solid. I got the blower mounted down. So it's got a little tab off the side that holds the blower on. Uh, so the heater stuff's all in here. Shane's working on the vents here and the top of the dash. He got that cut and he's trying to lay these out so the vents all work. All right, so Shane trimmed this whole back section of the dash. So now we're gonna just toss it in here. 
and uh, see how it fits. That's where I must be looking at doing the heater vents there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my well, my, sorry, my ground. Sides. Mount the top. Yeah. Check your vent alignment while it's it's all in there. Yeah, that's tentative. Take the steering wheel and hey, hey, that's awesome. I still have all the turn signals to put on here. I have uh, uh, the shifters. I have a bunch of stuff that still got to go through this section, so I still got to do all that. But he's going to get this dash finish mounted and uh, we'll just keep carrying on. All right, guys, I've got the paddle shifters, the turn signal switch, and all the steering wheel buttons on this little deal. This will have this little band clamp back here on the column. So this is all quickly, um, you know, you can take it apart real quick. So if you need to get the dash out, you know, everything's focused on uh, race week and uh, being able to work on the car. So this will just slide on here. And then it's nice as you can change where's comfortable with the wheel. Um, Shane's working on the switches there. Oh, that looks awesome. You know, if you just got that all put in. Crushed it, brother. Yeah, it looks good. really good. Love it. Good job, son. And then these turned out really good. They're all in there. Got the sh shifter, turn signals. Looks great. And we got the key in the trunk. Woo! It's fantastic. Air vent. Air vent. You got little holes for your defrost. And I just got to make a little subfloor right here. That's what I'm about to do now. Make a cardboard one first and then make it out of aluminum. Woo. All right, so hey, all I got it. we got everything in. That's looking pretty sharp. Yeah. And everything, so he needs this button is what you can tell the ethanol content make sure you got the fuel swapped good and then this is the one he needs for swapping the tune after the burnout and that's like if i'm strapped all the way in and see my arm paddle not, shift you can paddle shift yeah. and up and down the paddle shift we only and use the like blinkers and all that stuff yeah. work. It looks great all the buttons in the middle she got all those done the vent and the defrost the vent yeah and all the the defrost little holes turn out cool good progress i start working on the subfloor that's what jamie's sitting in here now just make sure it's in a good spot so i need to just build some mounts for that and then mount the passenger seat and then take everything apart paint the interior and then put it back together well put the wiring harness in and then everything else back together so yeah, it's pretty much finished the last couple of little things, tear it apart, paint it, and then wiring harness and final assembly. But 99% of the fabs are thread. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. It's awesome. All right, came in today, and Shane is piling everything up to see how much weight this all is. That's 128. 128. Right there. Between the cut stuff, that bar, the dash, and all the extra little goodies. We still got like carpet and there's a yeah. bunch of other things that yeah. aren't in there. Interesting. Total 128. But the cage, guys, is painted up and looking beautiful. 
Pretty excited to put this thing back together. We got the wiring harness. We're getting it all laid out here. Uh, trying to clean up my table so I can stretch it out and just yeah. inspect everything, organize it all. And then we can start putting it all together. I'm stoked with how it looks and fits. It's awesome. One more seat rail added. It was 20 pounds. That guy. Um, this one turns back real nice too. Watch this rent. So if you just twist, like if you hold this still, spin it backwards, this like chills back there. And the door will close on it. Yeah, that's cool. Alright guys, we're in the middle of trying to get the wiring harness back into this beast. We are slowly piecing this together. We've got uh, a lot of radar stuff, I believe, and alarm stuff or something up here. So we got to address that in a bit. But we're trying to get the MoTeC and the ECU and the fuse boxes all in and all the heat stuff now. And then we've got the transmission ECU back there. And uh, we kind of got to work to make all this fit now with all the cage in and everything else so we've got to work it out for us but uh, we're definitely here making progress and uh, things are looking pretty good so there's a lot of wiring in this thing now yeah. gotta try to get this transmission stuff put together and then uh, the trailer lights again that help at all? Then you want to put the actual vents in. Yeah. Break them out of that. I don't want to cut all that. I would. I did take them out. Yeah. He was going to. Yeah, that'd be. A I lot used it to to map them out. That'd yeah. be a good chunk of the dash to take out. This will just tie up here. Brent, look over here. Oh yeah. This will just tie right up on this bar. Like yeah, he took like two and a half inches of length out of that dash to get it. Was Sucked it way forward. With the windshield in, I got just over a finger above each tank. All right, so we made this ghetto looking fuel line just real quick so we can test this baby out and uh, make sure things are gonna work you don't have any dash lights so I have P and this says lock So turn skills aren't gonna work without ignition. Well, what did we miss? Yeah, so we must not have not, we, that must be because we weren't. Uh, yep. 
Well, looks like we need to pull the dash back up. Well, it looks like Dr. Frankenstein, we've been messing with all the alarm stuff on this thing after okay, we kind so of put on. it together. We've got an alarm, <laughs> yeah. a radar detector, a radar jammer. It's got a lot of shit. Yeah. And uh, we had to kind of pull the dash back and the wipers going. Yeah, we got wipers now. And the relay's on, beeping. Wiper no. shut off. Wipers yep, wiper shut off. Beeping, still beeping. Please unplug. Oof, almost fired. Yeah, we're gonna check the grounds, I think. All right, guys, we got Chach over here. Going through schematics, trying to figure out what goes to what and what we can get rid of. Right, and so this is just the, the Bose amp that goes under the seat. So I yep. think we can get rid of that. But this is that whole part why the display wasn't working before, is that it needs to talk to the main head unit that has a hard drive inside it with all the, the map stuff. But maybe. The, well, the unit itself does talk to Canva. That's why you're having the problem. Aha. Uh -huh. We still want to figure out this alarm stuff, but we know it runs and we know we're on the right track. We've got some more of the stuff plugged in and as soon as we get everything plugged in, we'll see what we can unplug and uh, move around or stretch wires and make this thing work. So ton of work, the sick week's coming up quick. So we want to make sure it's set up and ready, but uh, it is looking good. That's for sure.
after. Let's check this. Now we just got to do the fuel system, finish the fuel system, and... I need you to lengthen the oh. one plug. Yep, yep. Because I think that might be this stuff. Okay, I'll lengthen I think I got to go 10 inches on and that. All, the, all this works, all the buttons work, the knobs, all that works. Oh, the heater control. So we got the charger on it? No. That's a weird blue down But you did just I excite the battery pretty good. Yeah. Get your music just a little bit. It's on feet, so hold on a second. Let's get it on defrost. Well, yeah, I got it. That's what we all want to check. Yeah, it's going. I got it. It's going. I hold on. Hold on. I'm holding. It's cold air right now. Yeah, obviously. But it's blowing air. Yeah, yeah you did a good job there, kiddo. Turned out really nice. I like it, man. Do you feel okay, it? Do you get that's bit? just defrost. Oh, yeah. Now we got, we're gonna check check that vent. Check our vent. It's, it's right in front of the board. C-127 and we put a C-127 here yeah not up there here yeah and then put a shift light strip or something up there I feel like we can get rid of this 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 stuff you know yeah it's but gonna I, be a lot of wiring but I would like to get like a standalone harness in it yeah that's what I want yeah, it to be way simpler just so that'd much be awesome. extra stuff yeah. right now that uh, that rear wiring turned out pretty tidy and nice. I gotta tell you that. Yeah, nice and clean. Yep. I just got a little bit of the tail light wiring. I got the other back there, but it's looking mighty nice. This it's easy to get in and out of. It'll be better once we can get rid of some of the excess stuff. Show us, stuff. show us how you get out real quick. Show us how you dismount. So it's all right. Like just this. Grab these two bars and then. But the so like the getting in and out. So if you come over here and watch, you'll see kind of what I have to keep my eye on. Those floors turned out nice, too. Oh, the floor's great. So, okay. So I right foot and then grab the bar, pick myself up, left foot. So see, I kind of have to go between the key thing and there. And then yep. slide in. So it's like these are the two things right here between this and this. Yeah. So, but that's the only thing you gotta watch. Now let me try something. Oh, yep. with the wheel even. Cool. With the wheel. It's awesome. That's just something I always like checking because yeah. if you wreck it, you know, it's. Sometimes getting the wheel off is the last thing I'm going to run. It's awesome. 
It turned out cool. That was a lot of work. That was a lot, lot of work. Super cool. It's coming out great. We have just a little bit of stuff left, but we got to mount the ECU. Um, just tidy up a few more things, the tail lights and some of this little stuff in here, but nothing big. Put the windshield in and then put these moldings back on. And then we can put the trunk on and then are we confident show... that i can call and get the wind yeah. scheduled yep i probably got to move it from here to this lift and we can start the fuel lines so because we got to get underneath the car to do all so that we did okay so this is really makeshift right now going through the windshield yeah but this was the one that we fixed shane did i think you did it right um, yeah on race week race week yeah so ran a new one and it went through the car so we're going to just change the regulator, the Fuel line. feed line, and the return line size. Yep. And then we'll be happy with that. So. Yep. But it works, runs. We had a little bit of issues last night on the first fires up, but that, that's no going to happen. That, these guys figuring out that that box yeah, is that, a brain for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Josh, for bringing the manual today. Here, hold on a second. Let's. I do want to check one more thing. I want to see if the proximity sensors work for the key. Oh yeah, they're everywhere too. Yeah. So. Because he barely ever puts the key in the thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, this morning that wouldn't work. So then we put the back. Okay. It worked when my dad tested and he had it like behind me. That's but there's, yeah, there's, there should be a couple of them in the yeah, car. Yeah, there's one right behind the e brake. That's the one that's me out of the time. Yeah. It's freaking cool, man. Ah, it's been. Like looking in there, I can see Jamie has so much more space than what was before. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's unbelievable. Plus, just the lightness of the bars, so the dark bars, makes it feel bigger, I bet. Well, in the inside, it's so much bigger because I kicked, kicked the, those two bars that we hadn't put in in the last videos. We, we did put them in. And then I kicked them out. So, you know, I have them in and then kick out just as far as could so it just looked nice, you know. And it's really open. Squaring up the, EC, the trans ECU from what it's weird how it was mounted before. I think that yeah. looks really nice. You definitely can put a little uh, mattress back there for race week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trevor, you don't even need a hotel. You just get an ma air mattress right there in the middle yourself a little sleeping bag we're good maybe they make a we should go with the canvas option <laughs> it'll double up as a wing yeah the nissan aztec yeah this is the nissan but this is a nissan one now that's on like the top 10 worst cars i'd have one if i saw one i'd want it <laughs> yeah the styling is yeah awesome well you guys all crushed it these guys just non-stop we were going so we got it i'm stoked to be able to finish it up in this video you guys can see what we've been up to why it's been harder for us to make videos and all the stuff because we've just been hard at it. it's the three of us so we're going hard and josh has come down to help and mario and because of the timeline, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we still, like I said, we still got to do the fuel system, hang doors, make sure there's no other complications. Yeah. And that everything's going to be solid. And we got to fix the trailer. Yeah, we only got to fix the trailer. Are and we're going to take it all on a little cruise just to make sure it's sweet. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Appreciate you guys hanging out. We're stoked on the project and where it's at. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep you on our adventure and we'll see you guys all tomorrow.